So we have a breakup. Somebody is definitely walking away. Um, this is a separation. Something is ending or it has ended. This could be something that took place in the past. Now that a situation is over, um, we have proposal and wedding. There's a love offer that is coming towards someone. And it's like, if this is a new love interest after someone has went through a separation, they've walked away from something, the person that comes towards them, this is someone who is their, their match, the one for them. Someone that they'll end up marrying. Now, this could be you or this could be another person. Take it where it resonates. But somebody wishes are going to come true. After walking away from someone. Now, whoever the person is that's walking away, it's like that person is fed up. It's over. There's no looking back. But the other person wants this person to come back. It's like they're reaching for that person. They don't want this person to get away. This is someone who is definitely like stuck in the past. They're constantly reminiscing. And it's like one person walked away. This could be for happiness, to better their self, to focus on their self. But another person feels like their life has shattered. This is someone who could not imagine their life without the other person. And it's like whoever walked away, this is a decision that they needed to make um, in order to be able to manifest the person that is meant for them. This ex could be someone that was um, definitely a karmic partner. You have friends. And then you have family and addiction. Okay, so this person, whoever walked away, they could have walked away from this person because of an addiction. This is someone who had way too many toxic attachments. And instead of focusing on changing those, they kind of overindulged in those addictions, in those attachments. But somebody was fed up and they just walked away. Now, this could be a situation where this is someone who didn't want a lot of people that they were attached to to know why the person walked away. But if these were family members and friends on the outside looking in, they know why that person walked away. If this is you, they know why you walked away from an ex. They could have tried to confuse their friends, their family. They could have even lied to whoever these people are. We have date. So this could be someone who wanted people to believe that you were dating someone else. You walked away from them to um, walk into another connection. We have soulmate, twin flame. So this is definitely a twin flame connection. The person that, if you're walking away from someone, um, you're getting ready to manifest your person. Or this needed to happen because you have either a twin flame or someone that you're supposed to be in union with, come in union with. Whether it's your twin or a soulmate. Yeah, change. Something had to change in order for you to be able to um, reconnect. It's like you needed to reconnect with self. You could have lost yourself in this relationship that you were in and you needed to find yourself again. You finding yourself has helped you to grow a lot. Um, this is inner growth, but also end out a cycle that needed to be closed. I'm 
I'm also seeing that you could have already had an encounter with your person. Because this date card, it has meetup, dating, anniversary. So there's an encounter that could be getting ready to happen or it has already happened. You've already met the person that is the one for you. Yeah, but this was hidden from you. So this is someone you already knew, but it was just hidden from you for a long time. This person could be a Pisces. You could be a Pisces. Whoever the person is that you walked away from, they could be a Pisces. Take it where it resonates. But this is definitely something that was hidden and it took for you to go within, listen to your intuition, your feelings, your instincts about a certain person. And this could be how this was revealed to you. The connection. Yeah. This, this information has helped you to restore your emotions. Your emotions are renewed. You're finding happiness again, gaining this knowledge about this soul connection that you have with your person. It's like everything has changed. You have the tower. So there was something big that you found out, but also there was some type of destruction that took place. If this person realized that you were moving forward, you weren't looking back, they tried to create some type of crisis. Growth is always going to follow crisis. This is someone who did not know that whatever they were planning for you to go through, this would be a setback for them. Because I'm getting whatever was done, it was supposed to have you and could be another person going through some type of unnecessary changes. But it's like whoever you are, this Definitely help you to go through changes that needed to happen for you. But these are changes that this other person didn't expect to happen. So it's like you do something to someone, it's going to be done to you. But this person don't believe that. They didn't believe that whatever they were, you know, trying to create in your life, some type of crisis, it would fall back on them. Now, this could have been to get them to reunite with you. Like they thought this would get them what they wanted. This is someone who definitely wanted you to feel sorry for them or um, they could have wanted you to kiss their behind. Take it where it resonates. Like something was supposed to get you in an energy where you would not be able to emotionally take in what's happened, um, what has happened or what they did. You wouldn't be able to use your common sense. You wouldn't be able to think in a mature way. It would have you like lacking confidence of moving forward, moving on with your life, focusing on growth, restoring your emotions, and just finding happiness again, finding yourself again. And if this is something that was hidden from you, and this was supposed to get you to compromise with them, um, you still chose to follow your intuition. This this moon card, um, this could also be like, you could have had some type of dream about what this person was planning to do before it happened. Like something could have been revealed to you in a dream way before it took place. And you could have thought, hey, it's just, it was just a dream. But then when something actually took place and happened, um, it was unexpected. But this is something that was already shown to you. Because this person was upset. It's like they were up in their head about the actions that you were taking. Gaining the confidence, being brave to focus on yourself with the Ace of Cups, loving yourself. And they wanted to like play tricks on your mind, have you in a nine of swords, depressed, stressed out. And this was kind of like, it was supposed to slow you down. Stop you from 
being happy within. It's like this is someone who did not want you to embrace the new, the unknown, um, or want to embrace new love. It's like they didn't want you to be ready. This could also mean this person thought that you were walking away to get in another relationship. Um, it's like they just assume that you were jumping into a connection with someone else and they kind of acted quick out of anger, out of desperation and tried to create some type of negative tower, which turned into drastic changes for you, positive changes for you. You've grown a lot because of what this person tried to do and also what they did to you while you were attached to them. Yeah. You have the nine of wands in the reverse. It's like somebody didn't stand a chance. They couldn't hold on. Somebody was fighting a losing battle. This was a lose-lose situation for this person. And now it's like they have to cut their losses and just move forward. There's nothing more that they can do. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Somebody is burdened. They're weighed down because of the boundaries that you have set. None of this was expected. Queen of Swords. And this is just confirmation that whatever you go through in life, it makes you stronger. And a lot of people look up to you for this energy that you're in, overcoming different things that you've went through in life and still being able to stand, you know, tall, be strong, um, Whoever this person is, it's like they, when I say they don't stand a chance, whatever they took you through, this person, they wouldn't have been able to be as strong as you are. It's like things don't break you and make you. Yeah, fake smiles. And then you have inside scoop. So this could be the people that this person wanted to believe something that was not true. These people are realizing they were lied to Especially if they started like being nosy, looking into your life, trying to find out information about you, studying you, researching you, they're finding out they were lied to. A lot of people were definitely digging for dirt on you. People were watching you like a hawk. But now they see why you chose to move forward. Why you're moving on with your life. Yeah. Yeah. This is someone they feel like was just talking. Yeah. And you simply block this person out of your life because of the energy that they're in. This is someone that's very negative. Nobody wants to deal with this person. A lot of people are like dodging this person. If this is someone who is talking negative about you to these people, they no longer want to hear it. Because it's like they've done their own research. And they feel like this person tried to force you to do what they wanted you to do.
And we have thief. Wow. So this person could have been trying to set you up. They could have tried to get a lot of people riled up to go against you. This could be this tower. Like somebody got desperate. This person was hurt. So they were angry, enraged. Um, I'm also seeing that somebody could have believed what this person said and they were behind the scenes plotting to set you up. Like this could have been an actual robbery or this could be something um, that was taken for, from someone. Like emotional loss is on this card as well. Something that would hurt a person but not material. We have drama starter. Somebody started a lot of drama. And it's like whoever the person is that started this drama, it's like two different people came together. This other person, this was like right up somebody's alley. You got one person trying to force something on another person, but then you got somebody that's ready and willing to get some drama started. Whoever came together with this person, this person made fake accounts. They became obsessed. This could be someone that was, and this could be a third party, somebody that was sleeping with your ex. Yeah. Yeah. This is the person that was studying you, researching you. This is someone that's very toxic. But it's like more to the story about why this person was ready and willing to start some type of drama. This could have been jealousy or it could have been some other hidden motive. Reflecting. Releasing. This was definitely you pulling your energy back, doing inner work. And this person didn't like this, but I'm getting, they teamed up with this person. This could be because this energy this could be a karmic partner to whoever your divine counterpart is. Your divine counterpart could have released this person. And yeah, they were intimidated by you because whatever you were doing, your divine counterpart was doing. And I'm, as I say, you already know whoever your divine counterpart is, but it was hidden from you for a long time. Whoever this ex is, they know your person. Whoever this other person, it's like all of these people know each other. You could know whoever this person is as well. Whoever this karmic partner is that was attached to your divine counterpart. Or you don't know that person. Because this is someone who was definitely like watching you closely. Looking for dirt on you. Like being very nosy, but it's behind the scenes. They're sneaking. Because they don't know you. This is a hidden enemy. But this person felt bothered. They were threatened by you. You intimidate this person. And it's because you're the other half of your person. Whatever you're doing to better yourself and change and focus on, it's going to trigger your person to do the same. Whether you're attached to your person or not. That's just the effect you'll have on your divine counterpart no matter what. So them seeing this, your person pulling back and you're not even attached to your person, they were highly bothered by this. What can they do to start some type of drama for you? What can these two people do, come together to do to like force something on someone, force something on you, force something on your person without you and that person knowing so they're behind the scenes, working together, 
But these are things that you're not focused on because you completely move forward and you have not looked back. You're not focusing on that person anymore. And then your person is doing a lot of reflecting. They're focusing on their self. And these are things that are beyond your control, were beyond you and your person's control. It's like these are people that were um, projecting a lot of energy onto you and your person, not knowing it would backfire and blow up in their face. And these are the two people that are falling out of this tower because they tried to interrupt definitely a destined partnership between you and your person, a reunion. Yeah, by trying to force something on someone. Yeah, and it just didn't end well. Drastic changes have happened for you and your person to reunite. But these two people, they're sitting back regretting the actions they took in the past. Yeah. Because they feel like the, the things that they did has brought you and your person closer together. This could be on your, your journey of reuniting, reconnecting. Whatever was done, it made you. It didn't break you. Yeah, and these are haters. Happiness haters. And this could have been all about money with bankrupt being here. Both of these people could be codependent. And it's like if they solely focus on trying to force you backwards, force your person backwards, bills have piled up for whoever these people are. And that's why the Ten of Wands is there. It's too much. It's overwhelming. These are people that were not focusing on what they should have been focusing on in that self. This was a lose-lose situation. They weren't going to be able to hold on to you or your person. They've manifested a lot of bad karma. And these are people that know why ever you and your person walked away, it was their fault. These are people that operated more out of their ego, egotistic. They allowed their ego to ruin the connection that they had with you, had with your person. And they thought they could take it out on you and your person behind the scenes and kind of confuse you and your person backwards instead of forward. And it just didn't work. It backfired. And as I say, a lot of people that could have been um, connected to these people in the past, they could have believed lies that were told about why you walked away or why you and them were no longer in a connection or why your person wasn't connected to them. They believe what they were told. Now, these are people that can't believe that they allow, they just view these people as fake. We have Smell the Roses. And this is for this card for me, this energy right now is given being single, taking out the time to focus only on you and not run into another connection because this is what these people thought they were preventing. They had no idea that you would take some you time, focus on yourself, get in tune with yourself, find yourself, release what does not serve you. Try to focus on some of the patterns that you could have repeated with those people to figure out how can you release those patterns? How can you heal from whatever it is that have you repeating those patterns? They never expected that. Yeah. Lessons learned. They never expected for you to learn the lesson that you needed to learn from them to stop the pattern. 
They weren't ready for you to learn this lesson. They wanted you to keep repeating it. And it's like whatever lesson they're supposed to learn, you're not supposed to teach them. Their karma is going to be running into someone that's just like them. That will eventually help them to learn the lesson that they need to learn. So they can release whatever it is that have them comfortable repeating this pattern that's keeping them um, bound to these toxic attachments. Because it's like these are people that basically chose to stay in a karmic cycle while you made the decision to end one out. Them trying to force you or keep you in a cycle is what slowed them down. Kind of had them stuck in a cycle that they could have repeated as well. I mean, that they could have closed out as well. Now it's like they're continuing to repeat it because they wanted you to repeat it. Yeah, you have possibilities and shattered. This is like an illusion breaking in front of someone. Not being confused about what you want anymore. Looking at other possibilities, making up your mind and following your intuition. You chose to make up your mind. Your person chose to make up your mind, make up their mind and just um, focus on growth and change. These are people that couldn't do that because they weren't ready. So it's like they've kept their self bound to a lot of negative karma instead of clearing it out. And you and your person have been clearing the negative karma out. Now they're realizing that a second chance was just wishful thinking. Seven of Cups. Yeah. And you and your person are manifesting this partnership. You and your person have been preparing for union. Yeah. It's like believing in yourself. You choosing to believe in something else, something better for you, is what's helping you to manifest what you truly desire. And this is your person. Now you're protected because it's like if you were attached to this karmic partner, you could have been going through a lot. You didn't understand why you were going through it, where it was coming from. It just felt like you kept going through the same thing over and over again, but it was getting worse. Um, now they're facing divine intervention and you're protected from harm. You have divine protection all around you. Now that you've opened your eyes up to the truth. And this is about what you're supposed to be doing. And that's focusing on soul's growth. That's how you're going to move forward on your journey in life. That's how you're going to see the change that you've been wanting to see for a long time. It's like if you don't take that step, then you won't, you won't see the change. You have to be the change. Yeah, I'm hearing you kept feeling like something was like deja vu. Yeah, you have hopeful. You chose to stay optimistic about your future. And you didn't settle for this cycle that you were in, not seeing a change. Feeling like things kept happening the same, but getting worse.
Okay, so we have Taurus. You could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. And we have peace. They paid others to spread lies on you. Wow, so a Taurus could have paid other people to spread lies on you. This is someone that does not like the fact that you have peace in your life. You could have been at peace. You could have been trying to make peace um, with a situation, a certain person. And somebody didn't like that. You've healed. Then we have, do you still feel the same way? So I'm getting after lies were spread it on you. Somebody could have paid another person or other people to spread lies to your person, your divine counterpart. And they wanted to know after they these lies were told to your person, do they still feel the same way about you? So this is someone who knew how your person felt about you. Yeah, because they spoke positive about you. Positivity is here. This is your twin soul. So this is your twin flame. This person spoke positive about you. Somebody spread it, a lot of lies. They had to pay people because they could have been looking for dirt on you. And they just didn't want that person to view you how they view you in this positive way. And after they lied, after they had these people lie to your person, they were asking your person, how do they feel about you now? They could have quit questioning your person about you. Then we have divine blessings. While they were spreading lies on you, you were being blessed. These are definitely divine blessings, divine gifts that came straight from the universe or they're definitely going to be coming to you for whatever it is that you went through after ending out a cycle and walking away and choosing you. Yeah. Childhood trauma. Now, this could have been a jealous sibling of yours that could have paid people to spread lies on you. Or this could be a jealous sibling of your person. Could have been a jealous sibling of this ex. Take it where it resonates. Or the karmic partner that your person was attached to. Either or. How do you feel about me? Low self-esteem. Then we have a Gemini. So I'm getting somebody was intimidated when your person started speaking highly of you. One of these people, um, this card says a jealous sibling. So this person was definitely someone that was, as I said, a sibling to one of these people. Could be you. This person has low self-esteem. And if they found out that your person spoke highly of you too, a jealous sibling of theirs that don't like you, this person was still connected to your person's ex. They went and told your person's ex what they said about you. This ex paid different people to spread lies on you. And it's because they were insecure. They have low self-esteem. That didn't make them feel good. And they wanted to know how your person felt about them. So they could have been Trying to get this sibling to go and ask your person, how do they feel about them? And they got upset when they heard the response. They tried to take it out on you. Now, you could be a Gemini. One of these people could be a Gemini as well. But yeah, it just, this didn't end well. It didn't end well because you were able to heal from whatever it is that you've walked away from. Whatever was going on behind the scenes, it really was beyond your control. It didn't apply to you. So those were things you didn't have to worry about. Everything backfired that was done behind the scenes. This definitely helped your person to see this sibling for who they truly are. Because it's like this person could be going through some negative karma. If they were the one who came to your person with these lies, because your person was not connected to whoever this ex is anymore. 
they were behind the scenes working with your ex and um all of these whoever your ex is and your person's ex they could both both been working with this jealous sibling And this sibling knew that these were lies. They just didn't care. They're jealous of you. They're intimidated by you. They don't like the fact that your person view you as someone that's positive. They have low self-esteem as well. So whatever your person said about you, it didn't make these people feel good about their self. A setup got exposed. And I'm also getting the stuff that your person said about you. It made those people look in the mirror. It made them question their self. Especially if you're a good person. So yeah, these people definitely set you up. Um, or this could be the setup about somebody wanting to rob another person. Take it where it resonates. Awakening. If your person found out somebody was trying to set you up, these people actually set you up, take away your resume, something could have happened like that in your life. This woke your person up to who those people truly are. I remember the first time we met. So this could be your person. Remembering the first time you and them met? Yeah. They set boundaries with this family member, this jealous sibling. This is someone who teamed up with their ex. And as I say, they could have teamed up with your ex as well because your ex was working with your person's ex. Yeah, they don't trust this family member. This family member knew that this your person's ex only wanted money. But as I say, they're intimidated by you. This person is jealous of you. You also could have exposed some type of spell work. And this sibling went back and told whoever this karmic partner is that was attached to your person. And it's like they were using some type of spell over your person because they have low self-esteem. So they needed to confuse your person. They needed to make your person believe things about them that were not true. And all of this has backfired. However long they felt like they had your person under some type of spell, they feel like you're the reason why they're not under that spell. They're the reason why your person is not under a spell, even if you expose the truth. They're the reason why your person has woken up to the truth. The actions that they took behind the scenes is what woke your person up. And it's like, if your person did not tell these people what you expose if you warrant your person about somebody they kept it to their self yeah they kept it to their self and these people started working together behind the scenes to like set you up to have you stuck make you go backwards make your person go backwards and this is what really opened their eyes up to what you expose what you said to them Everything started making sense. Yes. 